okay. It's... Well, look at my hair. I think it looks sort of endearing. Put the hat back on, though. <laughs> Welcome to the Todd and Aaron Daily Stream. How are you? So nice to see you. Our kids don't have school today. I don't know if yours <coughs> did. This has been kind of one of those weird weeks where I got to call like, hey, it's parent-teacher conference today. I forgot. You want to do it? And we're like, okay. Then they go, by the way, there's no school tomorrow. So it's been kind of like a surprise week with How's school. How's it now? It's actually not as bad. Okay, I'm going to go with the hair. All right, so you know we've been freaking out about like the fact that the, the real estate market's been so psycho that it's made all the rents go up and so everyone's freaking out about rents. Right. This is actually kind of in the not so bad category. No, it still sucks. I'm sorry. Um, we had friends looking for a place in the downtown area. Couldn't touch anything for $1,200 for a one bedroom. Yeah. That's not with parking or anything. That's a one bedroom, you know, and you got a door. Um, and for two bedrooms, um, it, it's crazy. And this is just an apartment, right? So this last year, we're talking about it going up 15 points percent wow. a year in Salt Lake City alone. And it's mostly for the two-bedroom apartments. Yeah, because anyone who's got a family, you want two bedrooms, ideally. That would be helpful. So or if you need to have, like, roommates so that you can share the expense, right, right, you know? Right, So we're talking for two bedrooms, the average is $138. No, baby, that would be thirteen hundred and eighty dollars. Because if it was one hundred thirty-eight bucks, I would be snapping up a part. Oh, that's like what an I meant. alligator. I am one thousand three hundred eighty. Okay, that, that's what I meant to say. So it's so, not as bad. But we are forty-seventh in the nation as far as rising rental costs for the top one hundred cities. That's really not bad. We're just somewhere in the middle. That's because we don't have enough apartments built, and as soon as they are, because they're being built everywhere, they're going to be as expensive as this. Now, in case you do think that it sucks for us, I would like to point out that if we lived in San Francisco or New York, all of us would be living in a dumpster together. All right, two bedroom uh, increased two point one percent. This is in San Francisco, forty eight hundred dollars a month. In New York City, a one bedroom is thirty six hundred dollars a month. All right, a two bedroom in New York is thirty-two eighty. Wow. Okay, Los Angeles is uh, three thousand two forty, and in Boston, Massachusetts, my hometown, that actually looks positively affordable compared to San Francisco. Twenty-seven hundred. Uh, wait, if you're on a budget and you you don't have a job, and you you want to live cheap, uh, go to Ohio, Akron, uh, five hundred bucks. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> We're okay here. So if you're retiring, 500 bucks. What's up? Yeah, in Akron. It's cheaper than a Ohio. mobile home. All right, so. That's true. All right, um, so I, I still think this is really troubling that you find a, this so entertaining. Such a friggin' pioneer girl. So Aaron has this thing, and, and you know, we, we use modern medicine. <laughs> No, you were the same as me when you grew up because my mother was very matter of fact. She grew up in Hurricane, Utah, and there was none of this messing around with like modern crap like going to the ER. Not when you could sew it back on with like dental floss. There was or... no ER when I was growing up. You either went to the you you either died or went to the hospital. <laughs> but little things, but there were a lot of folk remedies that you know that been passed yeah. down okay. with, from my Scottish ancestors, right. and one of them is for canker sores, right? Which right. are miserable. Now my mom used to take a sock and put Vicks vapor rub on it and. and attach it to my neck and for a canker sore but when no for a cold but when i saw this by the way did we ever say hi it's the todd and aaron daily stream hi it's the todd and aaron daily stream i'm sorry How if we you? didn't let's get back to the canker sore shall sure we? that's great so i the first time i saw her do this she said when you go to the store would you get me some alum what is alum alum uh, it's in you the spice it, area you use it for pickling you use it for pickling oh, okay. like all right Pickles. All right, and stuff. so I'm not a big pickler. Except yet. for what you do is you have like two glasses of wine. Right. And then you take some aspirin on top that's, of that. That's what I did. Then you get your finger her. totally wet, and then you get powdered stuff on it, and you jam it in your mouth. Now, this now, will burn it off. I, I don't think you But need... it sucks almost no, as much as no. having it. Well, wait a minute. Would you watch. like to show them? Just watch. All right, so here we are. And I. <laughs> wow. There's a face. Wait. Wait. In the mirror. <gasps> Wait. Mm. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, so I was wondering when couples do that. I'm like, yeah. You're making fish lips in them. <laughs> so tell them what you're doing. I feel like. By the way, this is the first time in 20 years of marriage 
that I have been uh, able to witness this. Mm. Does my stomach really stick out that much? God, you're so shallow. Back to you. No, I feel like one of those old West guys who takes a shot of whiskey before he's going to get a bullet dug out of his right. leg. So tell them what you're about. First of all, you have a canker sore. No, I have got a canker sore the size of like Pangea on the inside of my mouth, okay. and it's going to be impossible to talk tomorrow. So. Okay. I'm from a very frugal Scottish family. All right, so what are we looking at? Here? There's no fancy medications for us. That's alum. Basically, you use alum to like pickle, you know, pickles. But it also burns the living crap out of, out of a right. canker sore, and then right. by the next morning, okay. you're usually healed enough that you can talk okay. All right. So what do you do? Well, but tell it me, burns you, like acid. That, hence the wine you yeah. drink. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Classy out of a tumbler. Um, okay. Ready? Yeah, go. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Oh, my poor baby. I hate it so much. I hate it. Oh, oh. I had to keep coding it, too. You what? You had to keep coding it. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Poor thing. Oh, really just hurt. I know it's good. Oh. Okay, that's good. Is it better? No, not good. No, it's not. Okay. Are you sure you want to hold this thing? Childbirth. You didn't swear. I love you so much. Love me so much. Mm, you, you know, How I, long do you keep it on? About a minute. So you may just minute. want to give up. You know, I want to just end this now because it's going to oh. be. Like, ugh. At least you're going to get worse away. Is it, is it, is, does it hurt as much as it did before? Oh, you're putting more on. Okay. Wow. You have to pull it. Okay. <laughs> does it hurt afterwards? Yeah, oh, no. I swear it's to God. Sore. This is the first time in 20 years of marriage that I've seen you do this. I've heard the screams. Oh. Well, I didn't try not doing it. Just go in and okay. All right. You okay. good? All right. Are you okay? Okay. okay. Now I gotta rinse it out. Take off your care. I love you so much. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. You're taking it, you freak. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's not good enough. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, come on. More? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You know, I, I hate watching you suffer. Yet, yeah, let you liar. Well, I'm so glad it's you and not me because that looks yeah, really extremely painful. You okay? Mm. Can I get you? No, I the second time. Do you want me to rub your back? No. Okay. That didn't help during labor either, pal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now it's done. This okay. So I'm just gonna back slowly out of the room. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, my stomach does stick out. Oh no, I'm concerned. <laughs> Are you okay? Shut up. You're okay. Your gut. Okay, I love you. Yeah. Right. Step, step. <laughs> it's just the dog. <laughs> Broobies. Oh, we're ever... back, by the way. Todd and Aaron Daily Stream. Hi. Have you ever been there, Broobies? It's really cool. You can sit in like comfortable chairs. You can have uh, beverages. You can have Snacks. food. And watch movies. Well, evidently someone thought they had done something wrong. Well, they were showing Deadpool and they were also serving cocktails. And the state of Utah was trying to shut Broovies down saying this was in violation of the ordinance. Because, yes. uh, because um, Deadpool is an R-rated movie and anyone who's seen Deadpool 1 or 2 knows that it's it is an R -rated super, movie. super R. And we're not talking nudie. So the deal is, is that they had to, Broovies had to go and like battle this in court. Like, no, you can't shut us down. And the funny part is Ryan Reynolds actually got, caught wind of this on Twitter and he did an online fundraiser for them. It was hysterical. So Ryan funny. Reynolds, of course, being the lead actor in Deadpool. Right. Well, here's the interesting thing. So they went through a lot of court machinations and all the exhaustion and everything. And may I say that lawyers aren't cheap. They're super not cheap because right. here's what a judge just ordered. Judge David Nuffer, U.S. District Judge, handed down a strongly worded decision Wednesday denying the state's efforts to reduce the bill. He wrote... The political judgment of behind passing the law was a legitimate choice, but it has consequences, meaning that they now have to pay Bruvies more than $475,000 in legal fees. Oh Half a million dollars in legal fees. Because they chose to take them on on something that wasn't an issue. Go to Bruvies. It's a nice place. It's a great place. Comfortable chairs. Wonderful. They and they probably, they, with all that money, they probably have even better. If I were them, I would take the money and run for the border. I'm sorry at this point. No, 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 no. They have a great place. You go down and check them out. Tell All me right. something good. All right, so Tell Me Something Good is brought to you by PC Laptops. PC Laptops, they fix phones. That's not even in their name. And they also have these incredible laptops and desktops. They start at $7.99. They got all the gizmos in them. And plus, extra, 
uh, lifetime warranty on parts and labor. Yeah, that's parts and labor lifetime. You know the thing that's really sweet though I actually love about them? Dan Young, who's the owner, actually said this to me. He goes, I tell it I want to treat every customer like you would treat your mother. Right. Which is true because you'd be like, you would totally be cool. It's right. your mom. Right. You would have to be awesome. All right, so uh, tell me something good. I'm so in love with this I can hardly stand it. Okay, this is a Twitter post from uh, Christy Dietz. She's a, a freelance travel writer. Okay. And she's got a four-year-old boy. I would want that job. I know, right? She's got a cool little four-year-old dude. He has autism, and mm. he is very into his bike. And so mm -hmm. they do a lot of wandering around the neighborhood together, and he's riding on his cool little green bike. Mm -hmm. And he always likes to park it in his favorite parking space, which is a lamppost right in front of their apartment sure, building. Sure. And she says, you know, he's been parking there pretty much every single day for the last year. Well, here's what happened. Oh, no. This is so adorable. I can hardly stand it. Somebody had made, like, a professional-looking... Uh, parking only sign that had a picture of his bike and then all the professionally worded, you know, items with it. It this says parking only for, right. and, and it was so cute. And it's like this official that's sign so and everybody in the neighborhood is like, that is so awesome. That's of course, it. that's totally your space. But it was such a sweet thing. She said that it just basically made her son's like life. And that this was her special thing. And then you're right, that somebody would take the time to do right. something like that. And I did this story mainly because I know that it's little, but it's like this little stuff is this, this is what changes lives. Right. Is that somebody took just enough time to go, this could be awesome, they might really enjoy it. So that's my goal this yeah. week. I'm going right. to have one of the parking only spot moments where I'm okay. going to try to think of something that people will love. Now we're going we're gonna to change your palette a little bit here. We'll run some spots because uh, the next one is entitled. Don't, don't even say it. Don't say it out loud. <laughs> Say it out loud. We're a family show. Okay. Family show. About high school. It's coming up next. The Todd and Aaron Daily Stream is brought to you by PC Laptops with desktops and laptops starting as low as $7.99 with a lifetime parts and service warranty. They fix phones too. Go to PCLaptops.com. And by Brio Technologies. They rent, sell, and install audiovisual components including professional sound, lighting, video, and intercom systems, components, projectors, interactive whiteboards, and classroom audio systems. Just go to BrioAudioVisual.com. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Todd and Aaron Daily Stream. Now, you know, people get in front of a camera, including us, and sometimes their brains and their mouths don't connect properly. That's pretty much our entire show. Yeah, but Every you know, day. we make an effort to like try to be upbeat or happy, but no. there's some people that you can really tell the true personality coming out the longer the mouth runs. One mm -hmm. of those would be, and listen to the name of this high school, because okay. this is so Southern, Saudi Daisy High School. Saudi Daisy. Yes, the assistant principal, Jared Hensley, was placed on leave yesterday Saturday after days of high school. some comments he'd made on a video went viral. Apparently, oh. he has his own little YouTube channel where right. he dispenses wisdom and wit and whatever else. That... And evidently something that gets him in trouble. Mm -hmm. So what happened was he was addressing a dress code policy regarding athletic shorts, oh, which no. students are not allowed to wear at school. No. What kind of s students? And Hensley said, and I quote, if you really want someone to blame, blame the girls because they pretty much ruin everything. They ruin the dress code. They ruin, well, ask Adam, look at Eve. That's really all you got to get to. You can go back to the beginning of time, and it'll be like that for the rest of your life. Right. Idiot. This is an academic leader in a high school that just said that it's always the girl's fault because apparently we've been screwing your life over since Adam and Eve. Right. Now, surprisingly... No. The Hamilton County School Superintendent Brian Johnson had reviewed the video content and hmm. found his comments inexcusable. Right. We find the comments about young women in this video inexcusable, as the sentiments do not align with the values of Hamilton County Schools. I always love academic language because you know when they're scrambling, like it's called, oh crap, it's oh crap, oh crap. separation. Oh yeah, we would like the situation is under investigation. The employee has been placed on administrative leave effective immediately. Right. We seek to prepare all children for success in life. And we really hope that our employees will empower children to reach their full potential. Instead of telling them that ever since Eve, we are here to screw up your life. It was really the snake's fault, right? Okay, we'll go with that. All right. So I it's nice to know that decades upon decades of social improvements have done meant absolutely nothing to Jared at apps. Saudi Daisy What's your favorite school. app? What's your favorite app? Oh, you know, well, it's got to be my walking app. You're walking up. The steps up, and I know it's a How many one. steps today? Um, 11,000. Your, phone? your phone's not far away. It's always within reach. There it is, right? 
It's just like women pull you have their to phones do, out of nowhere. Well, you have to do over 10,000 just to keep your weight. A lot of women have the, the bra phone. I do not do the bra phone. Some women have the sock phone. Others have the oh uh, phone. So how many walks today? How many steps? 11,000. You have to do over 10,000 just to keep your weight where it is. Doesn't that depend on what you eat, though? Well, that matters, too. But the I point mean, is, is that if you're doing... if you're just shoving in, like, great pizza and you're walking... Where were you going with this? Nowhere. Uh, so anyway, great apps. <laughs> I just thought this was funny. Everybody worries about, you know, with, with the holidays coming Porch up. Porch pirates, and it's been so frustrating. People are going to come up and steal your packages, and they actually now follow the... The, the, the different uh, UPS guys yeah, and they, FedEx and, and now they're like running up and grabbing and everybody has a great video from their their camera that's their doorbell, on their doorbell app, yeah. which reveals absolutely nothing the top of their head with the baseball cap on it and they people pick say up your... if you recognize the top of this baseball hat please call us and oh. it's not going to happen you need a face you need a face and your cameras are all in the all right room. are you editorializing here or was this going somewhere you want me to finish this well maybe if you want to i shall so this, this gentleman is sitting there he's 10 miles away from his house his name is uh alden alden is 10 miles away from his house and he gets an ipad message that his doorbell has been rung that's cool because that is an app now because there's a camera that goes into your doorbell and it can show you who it is. Boom, he goes to the app and he goes, hey, what's going on? And the guy goes, hey, I'm from uh, the express company uh, in uh, FedEx and I got a package for you. And the guy goes, oh, great. Listen, we've been having a lot of people stealing packages. Give me one second. The guy goes, sure. Because he's nice. And <laughs> Eldon then takes out his phone, he's got his iPad, he's got his phone, and then he goes to his app for his, um, uh, his car, uh, $80,000 car, and it's this Tesla. He has a Tesla? That's right, because you can do... He's got the iPad with a guy, the delivery guy, he's got his phone with a Tesla, and he says to the delivery guy, put it in the trunk, and he clicks it, and the trunk Because you can program it even from... Oh, that's so cool! And then he shuts it, and the guy drives off, and he knows his package is secure. And Alden is still 10 miles away, but double-fisted with all of his, like, electronic accessories. That is so cool. That is so cool. I kind of really want to do that just on principle now. On a Tesla? Except, well, we don't have the $80,000 right, to do that right, part of it, but, right. you know. My truck's an wow. open pickup truck. They put it in the back, somebody just steals it. You know. All right. Very that nice. is amazing. Oh, by the way, we have not done Christopher's Prime Steakhouse. And of course, since they are going to be one of the major sponsors at Aaron's Night Out and they're bringing food, and it's going to be amazing. Um, they're moving to a new location. So we want you to go celebrate Shut with them. Shut up. Why didn't you tell me this? Because. Do you know where? Yeah, like a block away. A block away. So it's going to be awesome. So if you'd mm. like to go try out the new location, which is going to be gorgeous, right now just drop a comment, like the show, share the show, and you are then officially entered to win. And by 5 o'clock today, this being Friday, I will draw a winner. Now, when they move, all you need is your nose. Where did they go? I just ate there this week. I know. Try any cut of meat with the Oscar style. That Without is all me. I'm saying. And we tried the lobster corn dogs. Without me. They are heaven. Without. The lobster corn dogs were everything I hoped they would be. So, just like and share the show today, you're entered to win for Christopher's, and we'll draw somebody this afternoon at 5. You guys have a great day. Good we'll luck. We'll see you Monday. Lobster corn dogs. Without me. How could you? Did you bring one home? I brought my steak home for you. Really? It actually had bite marks on it where she drove home eating it. And actually, like little crescent, like you know, I'm actually sorry I bothered now. <laughs> I'll just go back to the dungeon. You guys have I a good day. I think that's for the best. All right, master. I will not go. Have a good week.